Okay, onwards to pages 60 and 61. Bit of an emotional one for me, something that only ever happened in issue one. Community shout out. Slingshot World Stalwarts. You are going to start a print magazine. Are you insane? Well, it's going to be digital too. Two years in the run-up, these are the people Slingshot World owes its very existence to. First of all, my advertisers. Whatever deal I cut to have you, from a freebie for some meat for an out-there nutter, to a full-year commitment from the top three catapult companies, I salute and adore you all. Every single last one of you has been utterly vital. Your work, passion and skills are what made me realise there's a magazine to be made about slingshots. Thank you. Mr Peter Hogan of Pro Shot Catapults, who, at the very beginning, said an unconditional yes two years ago. Mr Nathan Masters, who, despite having a crazy limey on the phone, is also an heroic total backer of the mag. He has lost his very name to his art, Mr Simon Wasp, as well as fellow HAE, OK, I can now tell you that stands for Hairy Arsed Engineer, Steve Lane. I rate you, blokes. Dean Sheepy Ward for literally throwing his money down at a shoot the first day I started. Nutter. Ben H.T.H. Priestman for being a force for good in catapults and for corralling the sheepy. He's a bohemian. Slingshot Stig shot a blinder in a ghillie suit in the heat just for roadkill and no public glory. Some say. To those who organised shoots, pretty much just for me and to make a feature or two, Mick and Nina Wick. To Nicholas Slingshot Privet, Privet who sent three too easy to break still discs from Dan Kung. Stig couldn't kill one. He shoots 12mm albatross. Was surprised at his massive shot energy is 100 times that of a Chinese shooter. To Alex Rosier for starting the Surrey Slingshot Association and Stephen Fairburn for the Clan Club. I have to tell you, both of those are now long since uh, shut down as far as I'm aware. To Kevin Lloyd for his utter dedication, club organising, safety promotion and also for looking badass. Keith Dighton for being a dedicated shoot organisation, I should say for being a dedicated shoot organiser and for writing his BCA article as well as our strap line on the front cover. Not many people know that. Mark Jumbo Willis for welcoming a total noob at a shoot two years back and turning out to be a catty hero. Asa Wilson for being more out there than anyone. And I have to tell you that the... Uh, RCC Enigma campaign page in this issue one was entirely Aces doing. John Jeffries for the beautiful, perfect antler frame. After we did that video, he gifted it to me. Bloody filled up. Brian Aravelo, Las Vegas, a true enthusiast. Slingshot World Las Vegas reporter and the man behind the terribly clever sight right card. To Matt Redding, a true country gentleman, descended from true country gentlemen. And top instinctual shot. Mr. Mark Clark, river dweller, all round good egg, and top band set maker. Daryl Hurd for being the UK's most bonkers catty fan. I mean, insane. Mr. David Brazil, classic trad frame maker, for letting me leave him to awfully late, just for living nearby. Mr. Marco Brunetti, organiser of the Slingshot World Cup for heroism, shrewd business acumen, and allowing me to nag him right at the end of play. After all, he had been quite busy. I haven't had the room for thanking all who helped, but without you, I'm just a fat bloke with a camera. You made this. And now, the lovely people who got in early and paid for copies in advance just to help. I have extras, freebie bits to pop in for every single one of you. Andrew Lau, the Northamptonshire, Darren Donk Palfrey, a famous lad, Kevin Lloyd, just sent a lump sum. Dude, Peter Hogan just sort of joined in <laughs> that one evening on Facebook, personally. Nicholas Privé did too, despite me saying we would send him one for his spinners, broken or not. And Mark Johnson, also an advertiser who still bought one in advance. John Jeffries, quite insane. He does get his back. I mean, come on. Stephen Fairbairn also bought one in advance. And do not forget the slightly wasted effort on Indiegogo. I decided their fees were usurious for what they did, mostly setting spammers on my case. I refunded the lot and will invite them to shop when we can have the mag. They were Gary Potts, Sean Creedy, Mark Usher, who went large, and Darren Grinberg. And then in the black box, lastly, but by no means least, the web has been what made this magazine happen. 
mostly flipping Facebook. So thanks to those whose kind words will now be recorded in more permanence than usual in print. Kevin Lloyd, well done, bruv. Congratulations on realising your dream. Mark Clark, well done, Adam. So much work deserves success. Nicholas Slingshot, cannot wait to get a copy of your baby in my own two hands. So excited. Bravo, Adam. It is a big step for the Slingshot community. Nina Wick, well done, Adam, from Mick and I. It has been down to your pure dog determination. Many foot miles, many hours travelling up and down the country. That will bring you success. We're so happy that you have achieved your dream. I know many concepts don't ever get to print, so well done. And you and all who took the time. What a great lot the catty folk are. Frank Ross, well done, Adam. Great achievement. Mick French, awesome, Adam. You've put so much time and effort into this. Nick Hegarty, brilliant achievement, Adam. Well done. I'm starting to get a bit embarrassed about this. Jack Weston, excellent stuff, Adam. You should also start a slingshot HFT. I reckon it would be incredibly popular. And the airgun ranges are already set up for it. I told him the SSA do every Thursday now. Neil Bingham. Well, so Adam, congrats, mate. Simon Wasp, fantastic achievement. The slingshot community is indebted to you. Dwayne Grimston, massive well done to you, Adam Rayner. This is just what the community needed. Adam Coy's Duke, great news, Adam. Well done for all your hard work. Peter Hogan. All the hard work and effort you've put into getting this fantastic slingshot made together, it's a credit to you, Adam Rayner. Daryl Hurd, wicked stuff, top shelf. Did you mean Paul? Yes, I think he did. Um, you'll be delighted to know that in actual fact, uh, this is uh, not going to be repeated in future issues. 